Lucy. Hi. Are you feeling all right? I'm six months pregnant to find all right. I'm sorry to bother you. I was looking for my brother Gabriel. I heard he's been working out here. He is, but he's, uh, he's off today. Oh. Well, I guess I'll meet him sooner or later. Um, I was, uh, just craving some lemonade. Would you like some? All right. Yeah, thanks. Come on in. Okay. Have a seat. Can I help you with anything? No, that's all right. I've got it. You seem a little tired today. <laughs> really? Does it show? <laughs> I know you've been through this before. Dusty told me you have a teenage daughter. I do. Her name's Liberty. I'm sure that Dusty has gotten you caught up on a lot of things. <laughs> no, uh, not really. Um, Dusty and I haven't been spending very much time together on this visit. Mm. But still, it must be fun to, you know, see him and catch up with your ex. <laughs> Dusty's definitely an ex. Not that that's any news to you, considering how close you two are. He asked me to marry him. Did he tell you that? Yeah, he told me that. But, um, but you're not engaged anymore. Uh, well, let's just say the road to happiness has been a little bit rocky. <laughs> it always is with Dusty. So about this brother of mine who I've never met, Gabriel is working as a farmhand for Emma? He's renovating a cabin on the property. Oh, the one on the other side of the hill. So are Holden and Molly going to live there after they're married? No, I am. With Liberty and the baby. Oh, but I, I thought that you and Dusty... Are you and Jack still... I'm sorry, I'm confused. Welcome back to Oakdale. How you doing, Donovan? Getting ready to fix a ball game? Nah. Today I'm just gonna watch. Wrigley. Box seats, behind the dugout. Have fun. Oh, I will. I definitely will. Hey, you know who's coming with me? Janet. She's a big baseball nut. Yeah, back in the day, we went to all the high school games. Did you know she was a huge baseball fan? Why don't you tell me what the game is, Blackie? Did you win a beauty pageant? <laughs> Good for you. Did I win a beauty pageant? <laughs> <laughs> it's my way of apologizing for acting like a total fool the day of Molly's shower. Now, first of all, no apologies necessary. Second of all, you did not act like a fool. <laughs> You're just being kind. Like you were when I came in here ranting about wanting to be anywhere but Oakdale when Holden gets married. You were upset. I was an idiot. You know, as a past master of all things idiotic, I can tell you that on my scale, what you did didn't even register. You had a minor meltdown, that's all. Can I at least say thank you? You can. Thank you. You're welcome. What you did went above and beyond the call of duty of a silent business partner. Well, it wasn't strictly business. That's why I brought the flowers. I'd also like to take you to dinner. Dinner? Oh, well, let me check my schedule. Yeah, I'm free. How about Metro? I'll call yeah. over and make a reservation. Anywhere but Metro. Is it possible that Molly and Holden are having a pre-wedding event there tonight? The rehearsal dinner. And you just happen to think it would be a good night to have dinner with me somewhere else? Do you think you have it in you to get me through one more meltdown? Please. That went well. For you, it did. What? It's just a rehearsal. You flubbed a couple of lines, so what? A couple? I mangled every word out of my mouth. That's not true. It was like I'd never spoken the English language before. You know what? It was just nerves. Besides, doesn't a bad dress rehearsal mean a great opening night? Mm -hmm. Well, if that's true, we're going to be a hit. Glad you're here. <laughs> well, I wouldn't miss my parents' wedding. <laughs> now that's perfect, Carly. A perfect job. Oh, I hope I took it in enough.
you'd look gorgeous in that dress. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, there is no way that I'll be wearing a dress like this for a, a very long time. Well, that's too bad. Timing would be perfect. What does that mean? Well, since I'm Holden's best man, I'm going to be hanging on to a couple of rings. Got to go pick up the bouquet at the florist. Cake and a minister is all we need, and we'd be set to go. I'm pushing it a little, yeah. Really. Yeah, yeah, I think a little. What can I say? Weddings bring out the romantic in me. Well, you know something would be um, insane, Jack, to even consider getting married. Yes, of course. Uh, what about going to the rehearsal dinner together? Would that be too crazy? No, now that, that would be nice. Thank you. I just wish I were 100% looking forward to it. Well, you're happy for Molly, aren't you? Yeah, of course. I'm just worried about Lily. Well, she's not going to be there, is she? No. And that should tell you how upset she is. She'll find a way to cope. She already has. She's turned to Craig. And you and I both know that's not going to end well. So where are you going to stay while you're here? At the farm, I hope. Oh, uh, if it's not too much trouble. No, no, not at all. Why don't we uh, take you over there and you can get settled in. Oh, wait. My dress for tonight is on hold at Fashions. Let me just get it and I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. You and Mom always getting together seemed like an impossible dream. Yeah, well, here it is. about to come true. And I got to tell you, it feels right. You know, how does it make Lily feel? Well, it, it's been kind of hard on her. I mean, has she been around? She's tried to be. She went to Molly's shower, but that didn't go so well. Is she coming to the wedding? No. But she's got a lot of good things going on right now. So tell me, tell me, how does your mom seem to you? <sighs> well, I mean, she seems the happiest she's ever been, but that's no surprise. She's always loved you. It's just I don't think she ever believed she'd actually end up with you. Because of Lily. Oh, we, we all thought you and Lily were destined to be together. You know, I'm starting to think that we make our own destiny. And speaking of destiny, here comes mine. <laughs> All set? All set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like such a coward. You don't think I'm pathetic for hiding out here and not even making an attempt to show up at Holden and Molly's rehearsal dinner? No. I think it shows a healthy self-esteem on your part. How? Imagine. If you were at Metro, the ex-wife straining to smile, <sighs> sitting there like yesterday's guacamole while everyone else is toasting the soon-to-be new wife. That is pathetic. I've never been compared to day old dip before. Stick with me, kid. Here's to good choices and a future filled with them. Amen. Hmm. And here's to you. For all your support, not just tonight and after Molly's shower, but when we were in New York, too. Well, a moment of silence at the Sky King Motel. That's plenty. <laughs> you were very gallant that night. Yes, I was. Not every man would take on an entire vending machine just to get you the stalest treat in the world. <laughs> not to mention liberating a bottle of scotch from the <laughs> oh, bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. I'm just thinking about that bathroom. Oh. Uh, well, you weren't laughing when you saw what was growing on the tiles in there. It was like a science fiction movie. It really wasn't such a bad night after all. Hmm. As you say, on the contrary. What's your problem? I'm just a businessman who likes baseball and a girl from the old neighborhood. Why do you have a problem with that, huh? You backed up Montgomery with how many millions? Uh, you know what? I don't discuss business on game day. And now you're taking Janet on a date? What's your point? What's the scam you got going on, man? You really need to get a life. Huh? There's no connection between my work and play, except in your head. We'll see. All right, look, man. You want to dream up all these conspiracy theories? Knock yourself out. I don't care. But it's not going to change the way I do business or make Janet come running back to you. Don't you have a ball game to go to? Like I said, there's always a winner. And the loser. Jack and I got divorced a couple of months ago, but we get along fine. I mean, we can probably get along better now than we did when we were married. Huh. Is that why you're moving into the cabin so he can be a bigger part of the baby's life? It's for the baby's sake. Jack knows that. 
And and how does Dusty feel about that that arrangement? I don't know. You'll have to ask him. I'm sure you'll get the chance. What do you mean? Well, I imagine you'd want to spend more time with him. Because? Because you came back to Oakdale to reconnect, or at least get an idea of where things stand. <laughs> Actually, I have a lot of reasons to come back to Oakdale. I wanted to be closer to my family. I miss Johnny, and I wanted to get to know Gabriel. So, Dusty's not on your to-do list? To see Janet. Come in. Thank you. Hey, hey, you ready to go? Uh, you headed out? Lucy Montgomery. This is an old friend of mine, Anthony Blackthorne. Hey, how you doing? Hate to rush you, but you know, we gotta get going. Traffic is gonna be crazy getting to Wrigley, so. Uh, and actually, I should get going myself. Thanks for the lemonade and enjoy the game. Thanks. All right. Are you ready? Ah, oh, it's a beautiful night for a ball game. Time out. You heard what I said. Things have to move faster. But uh, I made up this story about the broken water line only a few days ago. Well, it wasn't enough. It's not sufficient. You gotta come up with something really costly, really a costly stumbling block to Lily's company. But what is the hurry? Monsieur Montgomery must be bankrupted now before he gets any chummier with my daughter. Carlisle Fragrances needs to come up with a special new scent. Mm. Eau de Sky King. <laughs> a powerful, musty aroma. Uh. With undertones of mildew. <laughs> now, doesn't this beat some musty old wedding rehearsal dinner? Wedding? What wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Bonsoir, Françoise. Bonsoir. You sound happy, but I'm afraid I have bad news. What's wrong? Uh, the shipment of spices from Asia has been lost on its way to the factory. Lost? What do you mean? It means the uh, production must stop until the shipment is found. Well, can't we buy a new shipment of spices for the first batch and use the lost one for the next one? Yes, of course, but uh, this is uh, extremely expensive. Do, do you, you have some money for that? No, there's no more money. Lily, tell her you'll put up whatever it takes to fix the problem. Go on. Uh, Francoise, uh, there seems to be some emergency funds, so please don't worry about the cost. Just make sure that production doesn't stop, all right? Whatever you say, Shuri. Can't be happening, Craig. Lily, no new business starts out smoothly. Yeah, but we're hundreds of thousands of dollars in the red. <sighs> yeah, I know, but I said I'd guarantee the investment, and I will. You're being so terrific about this. I have faith in my partners. Partners, I need to call Carly. No, 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 that'll keep. No, no, she doesn't like to be out of the loop on things. And besides, I need to make sure we're on the same page with this. <clears throat> and straight to voicemail. She's at the rehearsal dinner, isn't she? You could have left her a message. No, this is important. I need to speak with her in person. Oh, well, Lily, you don't want to walk into Metro tonight. Craig, this is an emergency. What if she wants to cut her losses and stop production? I need to know. They're my losses, Lily. And you don't need to drag Carly into every single decision. You can do this on your own. I'm backing you all the way. Craig, we can have dinner another night. I need to speak to Carly. <sighs> Lily, is, is this really about business, or is it because you just can't stay away from that rehearsal dinner? Thank you for everything you've done. Oh. Hey, Abigail! Hi! Oh, oh, you're so beautiful. Ellie agrees with you. 
you. Are you? How can it not? All the sun oh. on the beaches and the movie stars. You do look. You look fantastic. Thank you. You're in rare form. Are you kidding me? I'm just getting warmed up. I've got toasts to make. <laughs> How's the blushing bride? Uh, waiting for my coach to turn into a pumpkin. Well, that's not gonna happen, cuz. How about some champagne? Absolutely, absolutely. Carly, here you go, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking of toasts. <laughs> you don't waste any time. Do you? Oh, please, considering the time you two wasted over the years, relax. This is going to be quick. Besides, I'm saving my best material for the reception. Holden and Molly, we knew you guys were in love from the start. Seriously. And you took the leisurely route, but somehow you made it, and that's worth congratulations right there. Plus, I'm happy that my cousin Holden is marrying Carly's cousin Molly, because it could act as a stimulus for another in-family wedding before too long. Hey, Toastmaster, tonight is about them, as is tomorrow. I stand corrected. And while I am standing, to Holden and Molly and their life together, may it bring joy upon joy upon joy. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Well, speaking of tomorrow, I had a poem that I wanted to read, but it's kind of corny. You have a poem? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to cry and I haven't even heard it yet. Did you bring it with you? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You gave it a little <laughs> test, test drive. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> it's called Love is Shown in Many Ways. Let's see? <laughs> <laughs> Love is seen at many times, in goodbye hugs, in pecking cheeks, in chocolate and in flowers too, and crafting lovely heartfelt rhymes. But romantic love is more than it seems. The one with whom you choose to spend your life becomes the person of your dreams. Need Blackie, to... I'm okay. Hey, I'm okay. We don't know that. I... What's wrong? Nothing. What are you talking about? You can barely get out of the chair at the house. I was feeling a little bit crummy, that's all. It's no big deal. Yeah, well, I want to hear that from a doctor, okay? Okay, well, was there any cramping? Any dizziness? No, just the regular aches and pains. That's all. Well, I could call Jack or Dusty. No, 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 just, want. just get a doctor here, please. Hey, Blackie, why don't you go try and catch the rest of the Cubs no, game, no, no, okay? No, 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 I'm not going anywhere until we get the all clear. That's it. And then I'm taking you straight home, you got it? Don't argue with me. When youth is gone and wisdom takes its place and what is said and done has all been done, it's being there through everything that shows the love of two becoming one. Oh. That was so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. gonna come. I wasn't planning on it, but I had no choice. I had to talk to you. Well, what is it? We've got a problem. Francois called. Oh, no. What happened? A shipment of spices to make the first batch of perfume got lost in transit. It's gonna cost a fortune to replace it and keep production on schedule. Oh, Lily, this is one disaster after the other. I know. That's why I'm going to France. What? Well, it hit me on the way over here. The only way to take control of this is to, to go over there and straighten things out myself. I'm leaving tonight. Well, I, I can't go with you, you know? I know. I, I didn't expect you to make this trip. So you're going on your own? Well, who else would I go with besides you? Well, when you went to New York, you ended up with Craig. Remember, I just thought maybe the same thing would happen in Europe. Carly, Craig and I bumped into each other in New York. It was a coincidence. I told you that. I, this, this is business, nothing else. Saving Carla fragrances has nothing to do with Craig. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. And I, I really don't appreciate you suggesting otherwise. Lily, what are you doing here? I wasn't thinking that, but you're obviously upset. You're damn right I'm upset. There's an emergency with our company. Is there anything I can do? Yes, 
Yes, you can go back to your daughter and your fiance. This is a celebration. I'm sorry for interrupting it. Lily, what's this emergency about? I don't want to bother you with it. I, Carly and I are dealing with it, right? <clears throat> Relax. I'm not going to toast myself. <laughs> but everybody come take a seat because dinner's about to be served. Go on, both of you. And say hello to Abigail for me. Lily. And tell Molly that she looks beautiful. She really does, Holden. Okay, uh, tea bags. On the counter in the tin. All right, mugs. Underneath you. Got it. Radio, may I? Sure. All right. Uh, uh-huh. Gotta love this, right? I listen to this station all the time. <sighs> okay, what else can I do for you? You know, I make a mean tuna salad. <laughs> What? I can't believe you're taking care of me like this. Why not? Because you used to be such a guy's guy. You were totally into cars and hanging out after school and getting into trouble. I still like diner food. Yeah, but you've changed. You haven't. Not a bit. Uh, please. No. You haven't one bit. You are exactly, exactly the same as that little angel I fell in love with. You know what else hasn't changed? How I feel about you. In here. Where it counts. Oh! <laughs> Perfect timing. I know. I planned it that way. Scotch. You remember? I remember a lot of things. What's up? Well, I was at the hospital today visiting a former colleague of mine, and you'll never guess who came in as a patient. Janet. Is she okay? She's fine. She's uh, just feeling a little off and run down. Perfectly normal for a woman who's going into her third trimester of pregnancy. Her friend brought her in. Who? Oh. Um, guys she knew from her old home, um, Blackhorn, Black I think his Thorn. name was. Yes, that's who it was. Is she still at the hospital? No, she and Blackthorn left together. I think he was taking her home. Is this fun for you? What? Telling me Blackthorn took her home. I just thought you'd be interested. Maybe a little ticked off as well. Maybe that's what you're hoping for. You just made me remember the biggest thing about you and Oakdale, why I left. Why is that, Lucy? Don't talk to me. Do you remember this song? How could I ever forget? It's a song that you and Brad danced to at the prom. That's right. Oh, I would have killed to dance with you. Well, you never asked me. I knew I never had a shot. Oh, come on. Just because I went to the prom with Bradley doesn't mean that I wouldn't have danced with you. Please, you were way too in love with that guy. <laughs> Said I was way too nervous. Wow. I never knew. Well, now you do. It's not too late, you know. What are you talking about? I'm talking about now. What do you say? Are you kidding me? I'm as big as a house. You look fantastic. You never look better. Come on, you can't shoot me down now that you know how long I've suffered. <laughs> All right, fine, but I'm warning you, huh? if I step on your foot, it's really gonna hurt. I'll take my chances. Sorry, I know you weren't ready for that. I 
was not ready for that at all. Blackie, I'm, I'm tired. You should probably go. <sighs> Look, give me a dear. Let me warm up your tea. No, 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 really. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's the least I can do after going all teenager on you, okay? Come on. All right. Yes, I'm trying to reach the person in charge of distribution for the Carlisle brand. Carlisle. Carlisle Fragrances. What do you mean you never heard of it? What do you mean? You have a deal with them to, to oversee production of their entire line. At the factory just north of Marseille. What do you mean, what factory? It's only one of the most famous perfumeries in the region. Yeah. Yes, Carlisle just took ownership. Carly Tenney and Lily Walsh are the owners. No, I'm not making these names up. This is a legitimate... Hello? Hello? <clears throat> uh, yeah, Lily, it's Craig. Um, you know, I just wanted to call and see how you were. No need to call me back. Hello, I need a car to the airport right now. Hello, Francoise. You wanted things to go faster? Well, they are now going very fast indeed. And? And she is now on her way to France to deal with the latest crisis at the factory herself. Oh, your disaster report must have been very convincing. Marie, oui, but uh, this is too much. The moment she arrives in France, she will find out that the uh, factory does not in fact exist. Well, that's very true. I'm sorry, Lisanne, but I don't know what to do. Francoise, my friend, you and I have both done everything we can to make the situation as volatile as possible. Perhaps the time has now come for everything to just blow up. I can't believe this is happening. You're getting married. I know, quick, pinch me. <laughs> the only downside is that Aaron and all the other out-of-town Snyders couldn't be here for our wedding. Well, Carly and I will represent the no-shows. Yeah, sure we will. And I'm going to send them a copy of the video, so don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> oh, I can't guarantee that. No, we got to leave room for some surprises, right? Excuse me. Oh. Hello, Lucinda. Oh, Holden, I'm just so glad you answered the phone. I, 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 I know that tonight is your wedding rehearsal dinner. What's wrong? Well, Lily has, has just left. For, for France, alone. And uh, I'm just terribly worried about her. I warned her. I warned her to be careful. But I was afraid that she might get over her head. And, well, <laughs> with all the odd things, elements of this whole enterprise. What do you mean, odd? As a businesswoman, as a mother, I'm very concerned that Lily may be, she may be walking into a trap. I mean, forget about the financial devastation. She could be in real danger. How could it be dangerous owning a, a French perfume factory? Well, now, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm letting my fears interfere with my thinking. She'll be fine over there. Even though she is alone. Oh, hold it anyway. Of course, it's no importance to you or a problem of yours at the moment anyhow. I'm sorry, I, sh I shouldn't have called. No, no, it's all right. No, 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 I apologize. Go back to your fiancé, go back to your dinner. <sighs> Nothing terrible will happen to Lily. Let's forget all about it. Are 
you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Ever since you got that call before, you seem like you're a little preoccupied. All right, this party is moving. I'm going to take the girls to my place for some girl talk, and then I'll make sure they get to the farm safely, okay? Well, what about the boys? Uh, well, maybe Jack could accompany Holden to the Lakeview, huh? I think it's cute that you two are staying in separate rooms tonight. Uh, wasn't my idea. I love going to sleep and waking up with this man. <laughs> okay, take it easy. You have your whole life to do that. But tonight... I know, I know. It's a tradition. <laughs> so is marriage. And that I'm totally into. I can't wait to be Mrs. Holden Snyder. Well, it won't be long now. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweetie. Love you. I love you. I love you. All right, all right, let's go. <laughs> Great dinner. Okay, stable boy, let's go to the lake. Uh, actually, I can't. I'm going someplace else. Where? France. It's gonna be one hell of a bachelor party. Ah, uh, Jack, I'm serious. What are you talking about? Lucinda just called me and she told me that Lily is on her way over to France right now because of some problem with her and Carly's company and that she could be stepping into a trap. What's going on? I don't know. She said that somebody could be out trying to sabotage the company and that Lily could be in danger. There's a red eye out of here tonight. If I can get there in the morning, I'll grab Lily, I'll bring her back here without missing a beat, and I'll make it to the wedding. You're serious? Listen, Jack, Lily is over there alone. If anything happened to her, if she got in any trouble or if she got hurt, I would... Regret it. You're sure about this one? Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Look, everything's gonna be fine. I'll be back for the wedding. I'll be here to marry Molly. You better be. Hey, how you doing? I must have dozed off. Yeah, for a couple of hours. Well, why didn't you wake me up? You knew the rest. I see. Well, you should have left. I leave you alone after after that the incident? Come on. What? No, there was no incident. Okay, I'm fine. I'm I'm just I'm tired and I'm a little annoyed. Right, okay, take it easy. Look, Blackie. Yeah. I appreciate everything that you have done to help me, but but you and I we're we're we're, we're just friends. Yeah, you know you got to give things a chance. No, all. no, I'm trying to tell you that there 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 is no chance so you're just gonna wait around and, and wait for another guy to treat you like garbage what oh like brad right leaves you in the lurch after he gets you pregnant no, no, no brad didn't know i was pregnant my parents kicked me out of town i don't know if you noticed but i disappeared well, what do you think it tore me up that you were gone and then you go off and marry this what this jack snyder and then he leaves you no, 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 that's not how it and now, and now this other guy, this wannabe tough guy, Dusty, huh? What's with that guy? Where is he? He's not around. Uh, these guys, they don't understand who you are. They don't get it. They don't, they don't know what an angel you are. Oh, please, I am no angel. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're my angel, okay? And I will treat you like that every day and every night. Don't go there. Blackie, you need to go. Please, I'm, I'm tired, and I want to go to bed. I came to apologize. I'm allowed to talk to you now. I wasn't trying to upset you by telling you about Janet and what's his name. Blackthorn. Okay, maybe I was a little. I'm not proud of that, so I'm sorry. You've changed. How so? You were never the kind of man that would let a woman keep him dangling. Well. Things are complicated with Janet. Uh -huh. You never used to say things like, it's complicated, either. Dusty, I knew, would just take what he wanted. Maybe you never really knew me. Oh, sure I did. Still do. Probably better than you know yourself. Uh, if you know me so well, what am I thinking right now? Same thing I am. Exhausted.
exhausted, sweetie. It was a long day of traveling. Well, you know what? We should get you back to the farm right now. Carly, okay. take that. This has been amazing. <laughs> Amazingly fun. You're great. Thank you so much. You're yes. welcome. I love, I love you. you. Nothing better than ice cream and girl talk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys get your stuff together, and I'll uh, start up the car. Okay, thank you. Hey. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? I came by to say goodnight. Again? Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Jack, you... Is there something going on? Like, uh, what? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Did you take Holden to the Lakeview? No, I didn't. Actually, I took him to the airport. The air airport? He's on a plane right now. To France. What? Shh, please, over there. No, I know that. I, I Why? She'd be, in, she'd be in trouble. Holden went to go get her and bring her back. Has he lost his mind? Carly. Have you? Carly. How could you let him do that? Yes, madame. Perfect. Uh, where is the perfume factory? Uh, there is no perfume factory here. Uh, no, but 27 Rue de Bras? Uh, that is this place, yes. Yeah? But uh, we have been here for years. What the hell is going on? That's what I'd like to know. Next week on Ask the World Tour. Why the hell Holden would go to Marseille on the day of his wedding? He went after Lily. Why on earth did you come after me? I swear on everything that matters to me, if I find out you had a hand in this, I will make sure Lily knows every last detail, and you will lose your daughter. It's a toy gun, you moron! Oh, oh my God. You shot!